Think fully piloted eVTOL flight, think vertical aerospace. Hey up everyone, welcome to Martin Lucas Investor and Vaz. Do you know what time it is? It's definitely the time to start talking eVTOLs. Why? Because we finally got the news from Vertical Aerospace. And Vertical Aerospace have already foreshadowed this event uh, on their earnings call. We could see, we have been eyeing this literally for weeks. I had my eyes on the ground. I actually happened to go to their test base once i was gonna say a few times to make it more make it more interesting but once uh wasn't lucky but now we've got it and just as a proof as a proof we've got a confirmation from vertical aerospace their all official uh, news release and also we've got i house i our eyes on the ground we have my friend colin colin norwood with his profile uh, and his venture YDM Aviation, and I would like, I would like, because we, I was waiting for a video to come. Uh, Colin is currently processing the video, so so for now, for now, we have just this picture as a visual confirmation. But we have, we will have a video coming from Colin very shortly, and I don't want you to wait until tomorrow. I don't want you, vertical aerospace investors. To wait until tomorrow so i will pop link to his channel for you right now and if you go and subscribe colin is out is my friend and he does me a lot of favor and he's helped me a lot with vertical aerospace footage information and you name it so i would like to pay him back there'll be a link under the video as well so if you want to see the footage they'll be available tonight later on I'll be very quick. I'll be quick for about, I'll be about five minutes and then we will be joining the main event. The Virgin Galactic do or die earnings call. So what happened with Vertical Aerospace? As already, as already forecasted and foreshadowed on the earnings call a couple weeks ago, which we covered live, we cover exclusively Vertical Aerospace pretty much almost daily. We are bringing you, we are bringing you exclusive behind the scenes content we have very great relation with vertical aerospace and this is a proof of more uh this is proving this even more so what happened major milestone as vx4 enters piloted transition testing testing underpins verticals robust flight test program with the uk civil aviation authority caa that is the equivalent of the american faa a vertical remains on track to complete transition testing by the end of 2025 and this is the key line this is the key line you want to focus on that that means they are on the track with their business strategy there are no delays yes there was a delay on the flight however it was just a minor delay caused by the caa as it turns out uh, let's quickly let's quickly dash through the news and i'll be focusing on it more in the coming days and on my saturday live evito show we'll break it down and i will show you the full footage i just wanted to bring you this before i do the main event i spent all afternoon preparing for the virgin galactic earnings but I, I thought I owe you I owe you the exclusive update. So there we are. Vertical Aerospace, a global aerospace and technology company. And in the meantime, I will play you footage so you have visual of what we are talking about. Look at this beautiful white VX4 aircraft. Vertical Aerospace, a global aerospace and technology company that is pioneering electric aviation. Today announced it has received its permit to fly from the UK Civil Aviation Authority and commenced phase four transition flight testing. The final stage of its VX4 prototype flight test program. The regulatory approval enables Vertical's flight test team to begin testing the VX4 prototypes defining transition maneuver, seamlessly shifting between hover, which is the helicopter mode you can see in this footage, and the wingborne flight, which I can offer you in this very footage. This is a very complex maneuver. This is a very uh, difficult maneuver to co coordinate everything and to get everything right but once you get it right you have pretty much won you know your aircraft is capable of the full range of maneuver the full range of flight and your aircraft is pretty much ready for the uh, final phase of certification joby have done this beta technologies have done this 
We are waiting for Archer Aviation, one of the market leading companies with almost two billion pounds on their balance sheet. And Vertical Aerospace have beaten them for much lower cost. Again, we are waiting for for more updates and new and a footage uh, and a bit of footage from Vertical that will be out in a few days. And then I will be commenting and giving you more information on my Saturday live show. Here is the breakdown of the of the phases. So we had phase one. It was tethered. The VX4 prototype will per was performing stabilized uh, hover uh, loosely tethered on the ground. Uh, that was for safety reasons. Then, when Vertical Aerospace were confident, they moved on to phase two, which is thrustborne. So that was the first video you could see. Uh, the the aircraft moves as a helicopter. Phase three, when they uh, that was completed in February 2025. Phase three, we brought you exclusively the news before Vertical Aerospace announced it. We brought you this on this. Uh, we brought you the news on this channel and on my ex. EVTOL Hub, uh, sorry, the handle is at EVTOLHUB, EVTOL Hub. The link again is under the video. Now, pretty much, pretty much in line with Vertical Aerospace when they announced it, we let you know all live on Sensei Show that the news are out. And now we have phase four when the news came out. You are just, uh, you found out this morning on, on Sensei Show, and now I'm just telling you what happened. So, this was just a quick update. On vertical aerospace, let's quickly have a look on the uh, at the markets. What is going on? Not very good day today for an investor, or I was going to say an eVTOL invest investor, but investor in general. Uh, let's have a look at Joby. Uh, Joby is down uh, seven percent. It's slightly recovering. It went down all the way to eight and a half percent from the opening bell. Uh, we've got this support at. Uh, I've got I've got marked up this support at fourteen dollars ninety ish. Uh, this will be a key support. If uh, Joe B bounces off, uh, we are safe. If we break through this support, like and and we keep momentum, we are looking at much lower levels. Archer, I had to mark up some extra lines on this uh, on this chart. So Archer, we had a key support at eight dollars twenty. We broke through it today. And all day, pretty much all day, we have been under the support. So now the key line will be the $8 mark. Whether we keep on top of it or under, that is that will that will set the momentum. Next support will be $7.80. Uh, and I think I think we need to zoom in on Archer a bit because they will probably not be flying next week in the Dubai Air Show. Let's see what news they have lined up, but we might not see any positive sentiment catalyst uh, in the in a couple of weeks unless they come come out with a piloted flight same what vet, same was vertical did today uh, in the couple of weeks we can see archer going closer to the seven dollar uh, 50 and seven dollar 20 mark i think the key support or i have marked the key support at seven dollar 20 as long as we are bouncing off the seven dollar 20 we can be we can be building on volume we can be accumulating and then we are we can we are off to the to the races and we are off to a nice rally which i have been uh, predicting and i still see there will be a nice rally probably around christmas and towards the first quarter of 2026 vertical aerospace unfortunately beaten down by the macro conditions uh, opened opened pre-market on the way up, kept the momentum up, which I marked up a few days ago. However, macro condition beaten down vertical aerospace's price. And those who bought, those who invested on the news, on the earnings and on the news of the flight, now you just hold. This is a, this is not a financial advice, but hold. If you sell it now, it can shoot up tomorrow. It can shoot up, shoot up any day and you will be just buying on the way up. So my non-financial advice my friendly advice would be just hold you can you can possibly buy more on on sale now ehang uh, again beaten down by the macro market horizon aircraft is surprisingly holding horizon aircraft is surprisingly holding we had a short report and it's not impacted the price of horizon aircraft too much but again, we'll be looking looking at it, and I'll be I'll keep you mon we'll keep monitoring this. If air mobility that has been going sideways, there's no major move. 
beta technologies again beaten down and it seems to be very sensitive to the market to the macro market condition beta technologies they have been on the market for only two weeks there's a second week and we see a massive reaction and massive uh, swings on the back piggybacking on the on the main market so just something to bear in mind but if we are if we are not entering massive bear market we might have a nice entry point if you want any more info on this join me on my saturday live evtol show it is <clears throat> what it what would have been an hour before the opening bell i know we don't open the markets on saturday but what would have been an opening bell and let's quickly have a look at virgin galactic that's been beaten down by today's macro condition as well let's see is this going to be a good entry point is this going to be this is this is pretty much their do or die earnings for in the eyes of the investors so don't go anywhere stay where you are it will take you i will end this event and in about two minutes, we're going to start the next event, which is the main event of the day, Virgin Galactic Earnings Call, third quarter 2025. It will take you there automatically. If not, link is uh, under the video. No, there's no link under the video. Oh, Vaz, what have you done? Okay, let me quickly give you the link. It'll be in the chat and I will shove it under the video as well. Let's quickly do this for you as we speak. Uh, do we have any questions? Let's just quickly, I have one minute. I have one minute before we before we uh, move on to the next event. Uh, if you have any questions, fire them away. If, you missed, if I missed your questions, put them in the comments. The comments are not blocked. The comments are just he held and we are... Uh, we are uh, just filtering spam, scams, and trolls. So I'm now putting it in uh, the chat uh, next event. <clears throat> and you have the link there. So if it doesn't take you there, I put it under my... I was naughty. I was naughty. Martin's not going to be happy. But I put it under Martin's header because I don't have time to change my switch my accounts. If it doesn't take you there automatically, click on there in the chat and under the video there will be the link as well i will see you in two minutes if you have any questions chuck them in the comments under the video i personally approve every single one and i trying to uh, reply to every single one within 12 hours that's it from me i will see you on the main event in two minutes take care of yourselves and each other